Okay, the fuel filter is going to be on the left side of the vehicle and we're going to go right underneath the differential and here it is. This is the fuel filter. Now, if you notice, it has a arrow mark right here. So what we're going to do, if you can see that, and what we're going to do, we're going to turn it to the mark over here. It has an arrow mark there. We're going to turn it over here. Let's see if you can get a better view of it. I may have too much light. So there's a mark here and a mark here. So we're going to turn it here where it says unlock. We're going to turn the filter over here. We're going to use a special tool to actually do this. Uh, I would recommend that. If not, you can easily break this canister here. And you don't want to do that. This is a tool that we're going to use and it's made perfectly just for that. I never had to put a socket here at all. This is what this hole is for to actually put a, put a uh, not a socket, but put a extension there, or you can put your ratchet there to help you turn it. But uh, just this handle alone, uh, that's all I ever needed. And this is the only way, only way I would actually take that filter off. Okay. So what we're going to do, Let's see here, let's get this harness off. Pull, pull it right out of there. And then all you have to do is just take this wrench, slide it up here. Okay, let's knock it over to the side. And you want to turn, turn it until they actually line up, you can take a hammer. I'm using my hand for a hammer. And I'm going to show you here exactly where it needs to be. Okay, you see that arrow? This arrow? And it's lined up with this arrow. Matter of fact, there's an arrow right there. And it's lined up with this arrow. So that's what you want. Now we can just pull it down. And to put it back, we're going to put it up the same way. And we're gonna turn it back over and line it up with this arrow over here. And then that way we know it's locked. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull this off. Whoa. That's what you will get. <laughs> now, be mindful when you put this back up there. Uh, notice the way the old one comes off and that's how you want to put the new one on because if not you're going to spend a lot of time trying to uh, fit this filter back in the canister so uh, I'm going to show that too as well wow what a bath okay I had a filter on the workbench and I want to point something out before you take this filter out of the canister, notice that there is an arrow here and this arrow has to be pointed to this arrow. So it's very important. The only way it's gonna work, the new filter go back in, these two arrows, this arrow and this arrow has to be lined up. Keep that in mind. Okay, I called the Ford dealer and didn't get the filter in time, so Advanced Auto dropped one off. So they dropped off a Carquest filter. And we're going to use that. So don't be alarmed if you use a, a different brand and the colors are different, like the O-rings. Ford is going to have this color o ring, and of course, CarQuest has this color o ring. So, you know, they both work the same. Okay, now, like I said before, notice that arrow. That arrow has to be lined up with this arrow when you go back with it. Now, what we're going to do with that said, 
This is the lock right here. This is the only one that has a lock. The rest of them don't have one. So I want to just pry this up and take a screwdriver. See if I can turn it back. Just get it past that lip. There you go. That's what you do. Just put a screwdriver there. You're going to pry this up because it has a, a clamp right there. And then we're just going to turn it. And that's we go. There we go. Okay, be mindful that the arrow is a hair away from where it was before. If you can see that, that it only turned like about a quarter of an inch, maybe almost a half an inch. But uh, it didn't take much. And then we can just should be to just pull it apart. Now, grab your new filter and be ready to put that right back in this place. So that's what we're gonna do. Get the arrow lined up. There we go. And there we go. Simple as that. You wanna make sure you do that. Cause if not, you can spend a lot of time playing with this. And notice we got both of the arrows pointed towards each other. Hey, don't forget you have an arrow, unlock arrow here, and you got a lock arrow here. So we're gonna put it back to the unlock. We're gonna put the canister back up to where it says unlock, and then we're gonna turn it to the lock right there. Okay, now we're ready to put it back on. Don't forget to take off your old O-ring. We're gonna take off the old one and just put on your new one. And luckily the filters already come with the O-rings up here. You don't have to worry about that. Put it down here so I can get it on. Okay. All right, don't forget your arrows. And I'm gonna bring you closer up to see, let you see what I'm doing. Okay, and we're gonna my thumb is where the arrow is. And we wanna put it right up, right up where the arrow is. We're gonna just turn it all over to the next one. Let me see if I can get another bite here. There we go. Not quite there yet, a little bit more. I want to take two hands here, so I'm going to put the camera down for a minute. Just about. Let's back off on it a little bit. There we go. Okay, you see what I had to do? And she's in there. We wanna hook our clip back up. Don't forget that. And make sure our harness is stable. Now we're going to uh, bleed, her, bleed the fuel system. Okay, I'm gonna show you, there are a couple of ways to actually bleed this system in a Ford Transit. One way is to actually 
turn the ignition switch on. We're gonna leave it on for about 10 seconds. And then we're gonna cut it off and then we're gonna turn it back on for another 10 seconds. And we're gonna do that, we can, you can do that seven times to bleed the system. And there's also another way. I wanna show you that. As a matter of fact, we need to leave the key in. Let's turn the switch on. Let me show you a different way. I had to go and cut the initial switch back on. There it go. There it go. Okay. Now that's one way of doing it. There we go. See all that air? Look at all that air. That's one way of doing it. You're gonna have a mess doing it this way. But I wanted to get some of that gasoline out. But someone put gas in this vehicle. I just wanna get it out of the line. So I'm gonna go back and okay this is my seventh seventh time turning on the ignition switch and waiting 10 seconds now if the vehicle do not start right up you can go back and do what i just showed you as far as bleeding it um sometimes you may have a little air in it and you can actually bleed it through that port Oh yeah, that's a whole lot better. Listen guys, I believe we got it now. She has smoothed out, and I hope this video helped. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And listen, don't forget to hit that red button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.